I decided to do a little bit more work on my rocket stove space heater. This is specifically to go in the house and exhaust out that window if I need to. If the power goes out, I can heat my house and I can cook on the top of it. I did a little modification since my last video. I made it to where I can take the outer tank off and clean if I need to. I have a seam all the way around, put screws in it. If I take those screws out, there's an inside ledge to that that keeps it sealed pretty tight. I'll find out, but I think it'll seal okay. If not, I'll put some caulk on it, and that should be all it need to seal it. I've yet to put my half-inch plate on the top of it. I did put a cavity in it. See it down there? Um... It comes all the way around. You look, you can see probably the, the ledge that's inside there that joins the outer casing. But that is going to be filled with vermiculite down in there. It's like a cavity. Cavity comes up. To about to about right there it's going to cover the intake tube and the vent tube going up in the center of the stove about that far I thought and I still may use some hardy board I've never heard of anybody using hardy board but I know it can't catch fire and I can take it apart if something goes wrong, but I'm thinking of taking hardy board, putting it, encasing this in all the way down to the cavity that holds the vermiculite. Now that would further insulate the, the stack and maybe burn the gases a little more. With the vermiculite in it, it should burn the gases pretty well. My other video shows me test firing just the intake tube and the exhaust stack outside. Um, burn good. I'm going to make some doors yet for the feeder tubes so I can regulate the air intake. Those holes down there is what I'm going to fill the cavity with vermiculite. Remember it's going to be that much vermiculite in it. I'll just lay the stove on its side and use a funnel and fill it full of vermiculite. Put plugs in it. I'll post another video um, after I get it done. I still would like to put legs on it. I see a lot of people use four legs. I'm not a big fan of four legs. I think three legs will make any thing stand more secure on an uneven surface. Not that it's going to be standing on an uneven surface, but you never know where this might end up. Um, it's built from a house to keep us warm in case something happens. You never know. So, I'll be posting another video after it's completed, and I paint it. This is Bill. Good night.